miss with that. Big left hand. Oh. This could be it right here. Look at this. Take down. Kimura. He's got a Kimura here. He's got his arm pinned down. That arm looks locked to me. He might get it here. Look at this. Getting tighter. That's it. And there That's it, is. it. He was forced to tap. He got locked into that submission, and there was nowhere to go. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. And here we can see it again. Beautiful technique here on this Kimura. Perfectly applied for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Matt Pichella Sarah. So the Ray Longo pupil, Matt Serra, gets his hand raised yet again, and a lot of people wondered how would he respond after the George St. Pierre fight at UFC 69? Would he be riding a little bit too high? The answer tonight, an emphatic no. Matt Serra stayed grounded, recommitted to the conditioning, and this result, I think, Joe, speaks for itself.